Hi, you guys, and this is a really special episode. First of all, I just want to start out by saying thank you so very much. This is our 300th Sweet Life Entrepreneur podcast episode, and that is all because you have kept listening. <laughs> you have kept sending messages. You have kept sharing this show with your friends, and you have kept us going. And so before I say anything else, this episode is going to be epic as far as the birthday gifts we are giving to you for being a listener of this show. I just want to start out by thanking you so much, especially those of you guys that were on our original podcast launch team you know who you are and who have been there since the very beginning of this show back in 2017. If it wasn't for your belief, your enthusiasm around this show, your faith in knowing that we're going to drop valuable content, your support, even to those of you guys who left me messages during my little podcast sabbatical <laughs> that I took saying, April, don't forget to come back to us. We really want to hear more shows. I even here right now explaining this to you, I can't express how much that has meant to me and how much that's meant to our team. And it's because of you guys that we have made it to 300 episodes. So happy birthday to all of us. Happy birthday to the Sweet Life Entrepreneur Podcast. And thank you so very much. Okay. So first of all, I want to gift you for our birthday. And we're going to talk about business evolution here. I'm going to share with you a lot of things that are happening with the Sweet Life Company behind the scenes, give you all the juicy details, but I want to gift you. So this is episode number 300. And we are giving you over $2,000 in free business access and trainings. But here is the catch. You need to access it and download it this week. So we're going to celebrate our birthday the whole entire week. So if you're a subscriber and you get our episodes live dropped into your inbox, thank you so much. Here's one of those benefits. So from August 7th all the way through the Sunday which is August 13th 2023 if you're listening to the show go to this link go to sweetlifepodcast.com forward slash 300 and these are the show notes for this episode and there are going to be links and codes for you to access over two thousand dollars in business trainings and coaching with us totally for free you guys no strings attached we just want to pour into you and bless you the way you guys have blessed us. So pause this episode if you need to. Go to sweetlifepodcast.com forward slash 300 or you can text the number 300 to 805-254-0888. And we will make sure that you are hooked up. So again, but oh, that's you got to get it now because it's done on August 13th of 2023. So that's that's where all the goods are. And I'll explain to you in a little bit here what those goodies are and actually how you know which one you're going to pick. So we don't want you diving into everything. We want you to dive into the right things, right? How many times do I say this? Nobody needs more content. Nobody needs more training. They need a transformation for their business. So I'm going to help you pick which one of these gifts you want to access. But let me catch you up to date here on what's happening a little bit with the Sweet Life Company and really how our company has evolved since we started the show six years ago. So these key areas are important. And as I'm sharing with you what's changed for us, I want you to think about what is changing in your business and whether or not you are pivoting correctly for your life, your profit margins, and your teams in the way that are best for you for your next three, six, 10, 14 years of your business too. So many of you guys, again, have been here since the beginning of this show. And if you go back and listen to the trailer of this episode, it's a really short trailer. If you've never listened to it, I actually recommend it because I literally cried in the trailer of this episode. I was so excited and I was so moved to launch the Sweet Life Entrepreneur Podcast. I felt so called to do this. And I literally broke down crying in the trailer. It's like a short little three minute trailer talking about why it's so important to get trustworthy business trainings in the hands of those people that are intentionally working hard to build trustworthy businesses. 
And I still am so convicted about that today. But if you've never listened to our trailer, you'll hear a little bit of behind the scenes, a little bit of my story. I'm a second generation lifestyle entrepreneur and things I I learned from my parents, but really the mission of this show. So go back and listen to episode 00, which is our trailer, if you have never done that. But let's talk about how your company has evolved and how our company has evolved. So in the beginning of the launch of this podcast, the reason why I did this, the reason why I felt so strongly about this was because of the fact that there are a lot of new consultants and subject matter experts coming into the world. It was back in 2017, and there are a lot of trainings out there that were really kind of hit or miss. And so we wanted to create a show where you guys can find proven I say proven, these are trusted business trainings from experts that you don't have to pay thousands of dollars for. And so we wanted to become the go-to place where you can get trusted step-by-step implementable business trainings that you can apply in your business immediately right away. They aren't too huge and they aren't too little micro. We're not going to leave you guys hanging. We give complete business trainings in every single one of our episodes. And here's a little secret. Many of you, if you listen to our podcast episodes, it's a lot of what we teach in some of our, especially our startup business programs. You can just listen to the podcast, guys. Go back and start it from the beginning. And frankly, you don't even have to buy a lot of our services if you curate the content that I'm giving to you in the, co- in the podcast. We are here to pour into you guys. We have been since day one. And I, I feel tired when I say, oh my gosh, I can't believe we've been doing this for six years. There's a couple of people I really need to thank. I feel like I'm like giving an Oscar. I'm not at all. Uh, this totally would not have happened if it wasn't for Brittany Felix, our original podcast producer. She's absolutely amazing. And Inika is our current podcast producer. She helped me get the energy again after taking a year off to relaunch this show. If it wasn't for Inika and her creative vision to bring this show um, back to the world after a year break that I desperately needed, thank you so much all of you by the way for that, then that would not have been possible. And of course, Jessica Irwin, our COO, which you guys are going to get to meet Jessica on in next week's podcast episode. I'm so excited. But let's talk about business trainings, right? Let's talk about how we've evolved. In the beginning of this show, the majority of our client base we were working with were trying to reach consistent 10K months. And so the whole first 100 episodes of this show were curated to trying to hit consistent 10K months. And, you know, offer strategy, we were really focused on building funnels and online marketing and how to create your brand and how to create your voice. But also the other thing, and and I want you to think about this for your business too, the other thing that we focused on, especially in the first 100 episodes, was how to build your business around your family. And when I started this show, my three boys, Tim, Jake, and Sam, were between the ages of 10 and 16. Now, I've evolved, they've grown, I've grown, we've all grown. Now my three boys are 21 and the youngest one is 16. So in the beginning, the first 100 episodes, a lot of what you're going to get in those first 100 episodes are how to build a business around a family when your kids are younger and they're not grown and flown. And so that's how we focused. And then as I grew, as my life grew, and as my kids grew, and as my clients grew, so what's so cool is like, as my kids are growing, a lot of our clients' kids are growing up kind of alongside my kids as well. And we are walking into new seasons of life as leaders, as CEOs, as entrepreneurs, as parents. And that's a very, very cool thing. Whether your kids are micro and you're, you know, moving into elementary years, most of our clients, you know, your kids are that teenage phase and you're, you're moving into the flown and grown years if your kids maybe haven't even left the house already. So I just want you to stop and reflect. How has your content that you're sharing grown over the last six years? How has your own personal life grown and how is that reflected in the content that you're teaching and the trainings and programs that you're delivering? And so as our clients have grown, as my kids have grown, as my life has changed and I'm moving into my late 40s now, 
the content that I'm delivering here on the show, you guys may notice, and if you're a new listener, welcome, you're just dropping in here, is, is changing because it's aligning with what I am currently consumed with in my life. And I want to tell you something. There is nothing wrong with that. It's important that your business does align in some capacity with your life in the current things that are important to you. Because when we do things in our business for other people that are important to us as well and that we're currently working through in our own life, we're even better at what we do. We bring more passion to the table. So the first thing I wanna share is that if you feel like your audience you're serving needs to be somebody totally different, you've never related to them, that isn't true at all. As a matter of fact, your audience are people that you totally get, that you can relate to, that you understand what's happening in their business or in their life or whatever it is is your area of expertise. And that certainly happened. So those of you guys who've been listeners from the show at the beginning, you have seen the episodes that we've done that we no longer talk about, you know, how to manage life, entrepreneurship life with younger kids. We did a ton of those episodes in the beginning. As a matter of fact, I even, I even interviewed Timothy, my oldest son, when he was 17 years old about what it's like to be the child of lifestyle online entrepreneurs. It's a very interesting episode. He wore sunglasses in the whole entire thing, you guys. He had his like tie-dye shirt and his hat and he was wearing sunglasses and, and he thought he was so cool. You wanna hear something that is cool? Is that Tim is now my marketing intern in our company. And as we share social media posts and email marketing, he's a senior in college and he has been interning for us since that interview back when he was 17 and he is an amazing online marketer and a communication specialist. And so watching him and my kids even grow through the process of this show in our business, he's literally sitting on the other side of the wall right now and he'll be creating email marketing and, and sharing posts about this, probably the email you read to come listen to this episode, Tim probably edited and wrote. And how cool is that? Okay, so what's happening in your business? How has your business evolved as your life has evolved? Lean into that. Lean into the things that matter to you because when things matter to you, even if they aren't directly related to your business, they matter to the right clients for you as well. So that's the first evolution I just wanted to share with you. The second thing I want to share with you is our offers. We went from having so many offers. As a matter of fact, at one point in time, many of you know I own two international business consulting firms. At one point in time, I had 56 online courses all open at once. I closed them all down, reorganized them, updated the model, so what has happened is we used to have so many different offers. Let me, let me tell you a secret. Uh, do you know that we have over 250 funnels from this podcast into our business? Let me say that again. We have over 250 funnels from podcast episodes into our business, right? So you think that, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. I thought it was a great idea at first, you guys. Do you know what that is? That is called a nightmare. <laughs> that is called way too many funnels to manage and update and so much messaging because we used to give a free lead magnet with every single podcast episode. Holy moly, I had to hire a team to document and map every single one of the funnels and the landing pages they were on. But in the beginning, I thought that was a great idea. Our listeners, you guys loved it. You had a free, awesome download with every episode. But what happened was it was a million email onboarding sequences all at once. And we shut it down. <laughs> it was just too much, right? Too much is not necessarily a good thing. And those are the things through testing and traction that we learned over the time. So we've reduced our offers. We've reduced the solutions we provide. We used to be a very comprehensive business consulting firm. And now we've really, really honed in to different areas of expertise that we like to help our clients with, which are million dollar offer engineering and licensing their content to other programs and creating ecosystems of offers that align with their life. And so as the podcast has grown, as I have grown, as you have grown, the things we offer, the solutions we've offered have grown and we're actually, we have decreased, we've significantly decreased how many funnels, how many programs and how many offers we have. 
And so what does that look like to you? Have, when is the last time you, as your company's grown, kind of cleaned house on some of the programs and offers that you have built over the years? How many do you have? Because simplicity sells. And so, you know, maximizing yourself and getting yourself out there and repurposing content is one thing, but creating a million different solutions that, for, that you can provide for your clients, you know, that wasn't our initial intention. We just wanted to create action items from every podcast episode that frankly, as a CEO, turned out to be a nightmare for me because it was too much to manage. So I told you I'd share with you kind of a lot of behind the scenes things. Sounded like a great idea. Turned out two years later, not to be a great idea. So what can you simplify in your business now that your business has grown? What can you get rid of? What do you need to cut off? What are you no longer excited about? And here, here's the biggest one. And this kind of goes into the third area of evolution. What clients have you outgrown? And I'm not saying that in a bad way, all right? But you will outgrow certain clients over time. Just like we used to be very, very heavy for 15 years, we were very heavy on teaching experts, consultants, and coaches to launch their business for the ground up. And we've taught that business launch, online business launch for coaches and consultants for a decade, you know, really since prior to 2006, all right? But as time has evolved, we focus, our, you guys have evolved, your businesses have grown, your businesses have launched, and now instead of just trying to get you to 10K, now we're getting our clients to 50K a month. Now we're getting our clients past seven figures. So as we have grown, our clients have grown, the content on the podcast has grown, the offers that we are creating, the programs and the solutions that we're providing, those have also grown up too. And that's the cool thing about staying the course, you guys. When you grow, when you increase your profit, when you increase your own knowledge. So when you understand yourself as a leader even better than you did yesterday. And how do we do that? We do that by putting ourselves out there. We do that by trying things, uh, testing new solutions, testing new methods and frameworks on new audiences and listening. We do that by understanding what the next step for our client is and continuing to create a journey that brings our clients to the next level and the next level and the next level so we can have lifelong clients. Some of the clients that work with us have worked with us for over a decade because of the fact that we are evolving with our clients. This podcast has evolved with our clients. And so we never, we no longer focus on business launch trainings. Again, if that's where you are, I have a really awesome gift for you <laughs> with, with this podcast birthday thing. You need to go, you need to go grab it. But it's not our primary focus. We primarily now, for the last five years, have worked with established subject matter experts, coaches, and consultants to bring their offers and their businesses to scale. And so I just want you to realize that it's okay to outgrow your clients. It's okay to stop and ask yourself, do I still love serving these people? Does this still light me up? Because the second you feel like providing support seems like monotony, that you're not super fired up about who you're working with anymore. And it's nobody's fault. It's just called moving into a new season. You as a leader are gonna move into a new season. And so as I'm sharing a little bit behind the scenes in our 300th birthday episode, I wanna let you know that it's totally normal to do that. And I have done that. In all of us, if we don't take a minute to recognize what we are outgrowing, we're gonna get either bored or burnt out or stagnant. You always, okay, I can't speak for you. I always need to have something to look forward to. It's just a thing for me. If I don't have a next level I'm growing to or a next place I wanna go to or a next uh, professional strategy I wanna master, a next financial level I wanna hit, uh, a next physical goal, I have a lot of like travel adventure goals, whether it's in your life and your business, I'm a strong believer if you don't have something that's constantly challenging you, that you need to push yourself to that next level, it's gonna get really old really fast. And that's why entrepreneurship, past those first couple years, I don't even know what the success rate is, but it's really low. 
businesses that launch and those that stay in business past like one year and then three year, it's because they aren't continuing to push themselves. I believe that when we push ourselves, when we challenge ourselves, and when we believe that failing is part of the process, then you are going to be successful at that next level and whatever that looks like for you. So let me just kind of recap a little bit what we talked about since the beginning of this show six years ago. Our audience has changed. The content that I'm sharing here on the podcast has grown with the audience. Our offers have changed. We no longer serve so many people. It's very exclusive, the clients that we work with now. I'm not interested in having programs with hundreds and thousands of people in there. I don't feel like it. I don't want to do that. I like working with select entrepreneurs that I can literally know their name, even if they're in one of our group coaching events, one of our group coaching programs. That's what I like. And so think about what you like and are your clients growing up as you're growing up. I don't care if you're 25 or 45 or 65. We are never, ever stopping to get to that next level. We're going to never stop evolving. That's what makes us entrepreneurs. (laughs) We're never satisfied. (laughs) It's also one of our downfalls. You know, when we do something great, we don't really stop to recognize that we hit a milestone and did something great. We're just like, hey, what's next? What's next? And so that's what we're doing here. Maybe I should even stop and say, hey, yay, we hit this milestone. But instead, of course, I'm just thinking about how we can identify, how we can grow from this milestone into into the next phase. And I want you to identify that also. And I want to help you. So let's get to the goods. For our 300th birthday, again, this week only, we are giving you guys complete free access to two different trainings. You get to pick which one you want. It's over $2,000 worth of trainings. The first one is for those of you guys that are ready for the next level, you're ready to scale your business and you are interested in learning how to sell your consulting course or training to corporations, organizations, other entrepreneurs, the government, Uh, educational institutions. So if you are listening to the show and you are interested in, you have an existing program, rule number one, and you are interested in licensing. You want to know about licensing. You want to know what comes next after that launch lifestyle and in social media marketing to really push your business past seven figures. Then we are giving you completely free access to licensing launchpad. Okay, so Licensing Launchpad is our entry training, which gets you to the point where you know what you have, you understand the value of it, and you can build an action plan to sell your trainings to other companies. On top of that, we are also giving you exclusive access to one of our Amplify events. So what is Amplify? Amplify is our licensing accelerator. It is an amazing group of leaders just like you that are licensing their content and we are going to give you a guest pass to one of our exclusive Amplify events. So again, if that's the level that you're at, then I want you to go over to sweetlifepodcast.com forward slash 300 and just fill out your information there and we're going to get you access to everything for free. If you aren't quite there yet, if you are still scaling which is a beautiful place to be. What does that mean? If you are building your business and you are trying to con- hit consistent 10K months, if you, it doesn't even matter if you've been in business for over five years. We have a ton of people that come across our ecosystem saying, listen, I've been coaching or I've been consulting for years and years and years and I still can't get to consistent twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month. What am I doing? What am I missing wrong? We are going to give you free access to Sweet Life Launch. Now, Sweet Life Launch doesn't mean you're launching your business from scratch. As a matter of fact, 56% of the businesses inside Sweet Life Launch program have been in business for over five years. Sweet Life Launch is going to take you through the process of assessing your offers, understanding funnels for online marketing, and actually selling your services consistently. We're going to give you free access to that program. And so those are your two that you get to choose from. Don't choose both. That's the rule. You can't choose both. You have to pick one. So you're either trying to hit consistent ten, twenty thousand dollar months, or you're beyond that and you're ready to learn more about selling your program to corporations or even allowing other entrepreneurs or businesses to distribute your programs for you, like in a licensing deal, or you are considering creating a certification program. 
we're going to give you free access to Licensing Launchpad and an exclusive invitation to one of our Amplify, which is our private client accelerator events where you get to work with me personally and we get to pour into you personally. So we really wanted to give back to you. We really, there were so many ideas we had around this podcast episode, but I just, I wanted to talk about, you know, some of the things that are the elephant in the room, some of the things that we don't really get a chance to talk about here on the podcast about the growth and evolution of our businesses and how it's okay to grow to different levels, how it's okay to change our mind, uh, all the, all the mistakes of that we did and wondering how to fix those and how to pivot to your next level. And I just, like we started out in the beginning, I'll always be honest and transparent with you guys here on this show. If you ever have any questions about anything, you can always send us a direct message. We are at Sweet Life Co. or the Sweet Life Business Strategy on Instagram. We're the Sweet Life Company. You can follow our company page on LinkedIn. And we're always in there wanting to connect with you and hear more about your company. I am not in this to serve the masses. That's very clear to me now, even more than it was before. I want to serve you and I really feel like our legacy is being that, you know, little rock that is dropped to help you be the waves in the pond that continue out across the world for the good work that you have done. And I just appreciate you guys so much for being listeners of the show, for your personal support, all of the personal messages. For those of you guys that hear my voice, I had somebody hear my voice. I was at a conference and I was talking to somebody washing my hands in like a public bathroom and a woman came out of the stall. She's like, oh my gosh, that's April Beach. And she gave me this big fat hug and it felt so good, not because she recognized me, but because somebody listened. Like... Let's just be really honest. I, I put a lot of work into this show. Our team, we spend a lot of money to produce this show for you guys. I've always refused advertisers. I hate them personally. And just to know that you guys listen and that you're getting some value out of this is totally worth it. And it just, honestly, that's the best thank you ever that anybody can say was, hey, listen, I listened to this episode. It really, really helped me. And, and that's all we want to do. That's what we're here for. Our mission is to inspire and equip you to design your life through entrepreneurship. That's my core purpose. And this show is part of that process. So thank you so much for being a listener. Oh, just wait for the next year. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's a preview of what's coming up. We're talking more, a, a little bit about offer engineering in the next couple episodes. Next week's episode is the five keys to a sold out offer. Next episode after that is uh, the three components to a transformational consulting program. We're diving into a little bit. I'm sharing behind the scenes how I uh, travel six months a year in my very specific business model. I'm going to unpack that for you. And then this fall, we are diving into an entire LinkedIn Logic Mastery Series with just incredible LinkedIn experts for those of you guys that are looking to build your consultancy business uh, through LinkedIn and sell to companies or either sell to other individuals through LinkedIn. So that's just a little preview of what's coming. And uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thanks for being here.